Hey church, how you doing? My name is Rafaro. I am part of our Manchester campus. I don't know how your week is going so far, but I pray that it is going well. I'm looking forward to bringing you this next series of devotions. Continuing in this audacious life, we're going to be looking at Fiercely Determined Together. Let me just start by reading a little bit of scripture for you. It starts off with Luke 5 verse 51 and it says, As the time approached for him to be taken up to heaven, Jesus resolutely set out for Jerusalem. See, when we look at the life of Jesus, he lived the audacious life. And for us, that is a name, but it's not just about being a name. See, the audacious life is not about a culture. It's not about a, you know, a lifestyle or an organization or something meaningless for us here. But actually, the audacious culture is us lighting up with the culture of the kingdom of heaven, which, of course, has a king and his name is Jesus See, when we look at Jesus' life, he lived the ultimate audacious life. And really what we mean by that is four culture points. And if you don't know what those are, allow me to remind you really quick. It is that Jesus was fiercely devoted. He was fiercely determined. He was wildly authentic. And he was seriously fun. That is the culture of, of heaven. That is the culture of who we are as a church. Last week, we talked about fiercely devoted. But over the course of the next couple of days, we're going to be looking at fiercely determined and we'll pick up the rest of the characteristics as we go along this is also part of our sunday morning sermon and you can check those out on youtube or any of our streaming platforms as well so let's make this next season great and let's learn more about who jesus was how he lived his life so we might better know how we should live our lives and before we continue the rest of the week i want you guys to to think about this to to not give up that when the going gets tough the tough what get going. We know you know this church, but let's not give up so easily because we might miss out on the breakthrough. On the other side of the hard work is the accomplishment. On the other side of the, of, of the work, that whatever we need to do is achievement and victory. And this audacious life is found on the other side of that. See, we are fiercely determined just as Jesus was. Martin Luther King said that if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, crawl by any means. Do whatever it takes to keep moving forward and that's what the spirit of being fiercely determined is is that no matter what roadblocks are raised themselves in front of us whatever walls seem like they're there we're going to push through we're going to keep knocking on the door we're going to keep hitting down that wall until it crumbles because we don't quit the bible says we do not belong to those who shy, shy back but we belong to those who move forward that's what we're believing for as a church and so i'm believing and i'm determined that this next week is going to be fantastic as we look at what fiercely determined means in the eyes of Jesus. Love you lots, church. God bless you and see you soon. Bye.